And now I'd like to yield to my friend, the co-chair of the Democratic Policy and Communications Committee, someone who has been delivering for the people in his district in California and for the people of our country for many years, my good friend, Mr. Ted Lieu. And I would like to yield him um, five minutes, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, could I actually ask Representative Goose a question? Uh, yes, Mr. Liu, I'd be happy to entertain your question. Uh, that uh, wonderful tax cut uh, for American families with children, uh, did any Republican in Congress vote for it? You know, it's funny that you asked that question, Mr. Liu, because not a single Republican, not one, voted for the child tax credit. No laughing matter, as it were. That's right. It was Democrats in the House, Democrats in the Senate that got the American Rescue Plan signed into law, and President Biden uh, enacted it. Some of you may wonder, well, what else is in this American Rescue Plan? So we have this amazing tax cut for millions and millions of American families with children. But in addition, the American Rescue Plan was designed to do four things, to get shots into arms, children into schools, people back into jobs, and cash in their pockets. And it's doing all four of those. We know that since January 20th, there's been over 3 million jobs created under the Biden-Harris administration. We know that jobless claims have been cut in half. The American Rescue Plan had stimulus checks go out to millions of Americans who needed cash in their pockets. It also provided billions of dollars to schools across our country so they could reopen safely. And it also had money for restaurants and small businesses. It had additional economic injury disaster grants. It also had shuttered venue grants to help those shuttered venues. It was so full of programs to help the American people that we now have projections that our GDP is going to skyrocket. We see people now coming back into jobs and we see America back on track and not a single Republican voted for that American Rescue Plan. You know what else was in that plan? Funding for local government. I served in local government. I was on the Torrance City Council. I loved that job. Very clear to me that one of the big aspects of local government funding is funding for public safety, funding for our firefighters, funding for our police officers. Not a single Republican voted for that local funding for public safety. This American Rescue Plan was a transformative law, and it is still continuing to provide benefits to American people. Just a few days ago, as Representative Nagus mentioned on July 15th, most American families got a tax refund, hundreds of dollars. This is going to happen again. The middle of next month, they're going to get hundreds of dollars again. And then it's going to happen again on the 15th of September, and again on the 15th of October, and again on the 15th of November, and again on December 15th. This is transforming the lives of Americans. It is allowing hardworking parents to have cash to provide child care, cash to get gas for their car, to go to work, to get back into our economy, get back into the labor market. And again, not a single Republican in the House or in the Senate voted for the American Rescue Plan. And this was just the first six months of Democrats in control. What did Republicans do when they were in control? Well, they also did give tax cuts, except it went to the top 1%. It went to billionaires. And all of you know that because you didn't get a tax cut. You would have remembered if you did, but you did it. The American people actually did not get this because it went mostly to billionaires. Democrats and Republicans, very starkly different. First six months in office, we chose to give a tax cut to the middle class, to families with children, and we're not done. Now we're working on the American Jobs Plan. It's going to have an infrastructure component. It's going to have money for elder care. It's going to have workforce retraining. It's going to help restore the millions of jobs that are lost during this pandemic. And we're working on the American Families Plan because this amazing tax cut for families with children, we want to make it permanent. We want to give Republicans another chance to vote for it because we want to make this tax cut for families with children permanent. Hopefully, we're going to get bipartisan support for that. What else is going to be in the American Jobs Plan and American Families Plan? It's going to have funding also for education. Studies show 
that in terms of education, the most impact you can have on a human being's life is under the age of five. So we're gonna have funding to have universal preschool for three and four-year-olds. This is when their brains are developing. This is when you can have tremendous impact that's gonna affect them for the rest of their lives. And we're gonna extend higher education funding to provide free community college for anyone who wants it. We're in the 21st century now. We simply have to expand our education. People have to learn more skills so they can prepare uh, for their uh, economy of the 21st century. Hopefully Republicans will join us. Hopefully we'll get bipartisan support and we can continue to make America as great as we want it to be and to move forward on a bipartisan basis. So we ask Republicans to join us. But for now, we do know not a single one of them voted for the American Rescue Plan. And with that, I'm going to yield back to Representative Nagus. I thank the distinguished gentleman from California. And I just, uh, if the distinguished gentleman from California might be willing to engage in a, a brief colloquy with me, uh, I'd be interested in yielding in him because I was not, I mean, I was fully aware that the Republicans, or rather the House Republicans, didn't vote in favor of the child tax credit. But you mentioned a litany of other programs that have come to pass over the course of the last 200 days that have had a dramatic impact on the American people. And is it your understanding that no Republicans voted for, for example, the Restaurant Revitalization Fund as part of the American Rescue Plan? Uh, that's correct. Even though a number of them took credit for that program, they actually didn't vote for it. Uh, so I don't want the American people to be confused. If your Republican member of Congress claims credit for the American Rescue Plan, they did not vote for it. But hey, if they want to talk good things about it, we're, we're happy to, to, to accept that. But your Republican member of Congress did not vote for the American Rescue Plan. Well, Mr. Lewis